monolithic core. In this video, we're going to take a look at two suppressors from Sig Sauer, the SRD762TI and the SRD762TIQD for quick disconnect. So looking at what comes inside the box, we'll remove that outer sleeve, open it up, and in the QD version, you've got a muzzle device, instruction manual, and the suppressor itself. In the direct thread version, it's the same exact thing minus the muzzle device. Both the SRD762TI and TIQD are full auto rated up to 300 Win Mag. They're both made from grade 5 titanium and have a 1.75 inch diameter. The TI, again the direct thread version, comes in at 9.3 inches long and weighs 17.6 ounces with a 5 8 by 24 thread pitch, so pretty standard for 30 cal barrels. The titanium quick disconnect version comes in at 8.3 inches long and 15.8 ounces. Mounting the QD version might be a little bit different than you're used to with most suppressors. The first thing is the muzzle device is actually two pieces. So what you'll do is take this rear piece and mount it to your barrel about 25 or 30 foot pounds of torque. You'll then take the provided crush washer and minimal brake and put that in to that mount. You'll use the crush washer to actually get that brake timed correctly instead of shims. Since the suppressor mounts to the rear part, the crush washer won't matter at all as far as uh, increasing the likelihood of baffle strikes or any of the negative things usually associated with using crush washers to mount. This also allows you to remove this in piece to put on something like their CQB flash hider or other things that will be released in the near future. Once that's mounted on the host weapon, you'll take the suppressor, slide it over the muzzle device, and simply screw it down till it stops. Uh, it's very, very simple to mount. When removing it, you'll loosen it up and it'll catch a little bit. This is to make sure it doesn't back all the way off and cause problems when firing. You'll then press that latch down and just remove it the rest of the way. So very simple and interesting mounting system that really hasn't been, uh, hasn't been seen much before. Using a standard AR-15 with a 16-inch barrel and XM-193, the unsuppressed average came in at 161.7 decibels. With the SRD-762TI, it was 134.2, and the TIQD came in at 133.6 decibels. For 300 blackout, using 220 grain subsonic ammunition, our Noveski 8.3 inch AR was 159.2 decibels unsuppressed and 120.8 decibels with the 762 Ti. The TIQD registered 123.2 decibels, so slightly higher but still very, very close. Using a bolt gun tamed down the 220 grain subsonic 300 blackout even more. On our 16 inch Remington 700 SPS chambered in 300 blackout, it was 151.3 decibels unsuppressed. The SRD 762 Ti came in at 118.3 and the TIQD came in at 118.7. Lastly, using another 700, but this time with a 20 inch barrel and chambered in 308, unsuppressed was 164.4. The 7.62 Ti brought it down to 134.5 and the TIQD to 134.2 decibels. 
As you can see, the Sig Sauer SRD 762 Ti and TIQD perform very, very well. They have a pleasant tone and the amount of decibel reduction puts them on par with some of the other top performing 762 suppressors on the market. If you have any questions about these SIG cans or any other products we carry, please feel free to email us, leave a comment, call, or stop on into the shop.